My friends, it is August and welcome to an entire month of grocery hauls. That's right, every single grocery haul I do in the entire month of August will be contained into this video. I will share with you every single thing I purchased, how much it costs, and what my total is for the whole month for a family of six. Now, if you're new around here, my name is Christine. Welcome, and I have been doing this for the entire year of 2022. I have an entire playlist. If you have missed any of the months, that will be down below. I began this month with the goal to not spend as much, but it's also the month where it's back to school. So clearly it was a complete fail. So if you love grocery hauls and you love me to touch all of the things, give this video a thumbs up and let's get going. Kicking it off for August on August 1st. I went to Costco and did a large, large grocery shopping haul for our big summer vacation in Southern Utah. You will have already seen that video. I showed you all the food I bought, the food we ate on the trip, and some of the fun things that we did. It was $215. Kicking it off with a bang, I feel like in August, budget is busted. Vacations, back to school, it's gonna be a big month. I can feel it in my heart. Whoa, whoa, focus. It is August 7th and guess who was able to hit up a Trader Joe's for the first time in like a year. We drove through Salt Lake City, the closest Trader Joe's that I have and we got a few things. I spent $60. These are literally just for fun. Let's check it out. Of course, the Scandinavian swimmers. This one may have already been opened. I think these are the best gummies that exist. And this one was right next to it the tangy turtles. So I thought we'd try that one out as well. The Trader Joe's mandarins are like the most delicious dried orange. So I got three of those because they're so good. I have not tried the coconut cashews. The only other coconut cashew I've been able to find anywhere is at Walmart and it's delicious. So we'll try these and see if they are as equally delicious. Also the dried baby sweet pineapple, bomb, cannot go wrong. Two kinds of salsa, of course had to get the cookie butter. We are big fans of lemon curd here, so we got that. Peaches are pretty much my favorite fruit, so I wanted to try the fruit spread. Pecan, or do you say pecan pralines? Dave confirms these are delicious. Of course, the maple leaf cookies. This is a favorite here, and I've never tried this one. I have since tried it. I did do a taste test already. See, they're just okay. I would not recommend you run out and buy this one, but here's my little Trader Joe's haul. It's all snack food and 60 bucks. Could you, like, Wow, <laughs> wow, that's, that's a lot of money for this tiny little pile of food, but delicious food. I'll see you in a few days. My friends, August 10th, I filmed a huge back to school haul video. You will have already seen it. It's this one right here. And I spent a whopping 100 doll hairs on snacks, food. Uh, that doesn't include the non-food items. That's just like food stuff. But don't worry, we're gonna have stuff for school lunches for like months to come. So you're not gonna see a stock up like that on snack foods for quite a while. It is August 16th and welcome to a grocery haul. We have just gotten back from our last vacation before we go back to school. I was really focusing on produce, but then there were some deals. Even though I told myself I wasn't gonna buy any meat because of the freezer situation, here we are. The goal was to have this last about two weeks or so. So your Brussels sprouts are a cabbage variety. So they do last quite a long time and they were clearanced out for 229 for a pound and a half, um, but they look so great. I'm gonna prep these and stick them in the freezer ready to go. I did get also two cabbages, a green one and a purple one. Celery lasts a long time, as well as carrots and potatoes. We did get a bunch of nectarines because they were 99 cents a pound and they're very firm. So this side over here is my like, this is gonna last a while pile. Over here in the center is everything I'm gonna try and eat this week. We are definitely bumping up the fruit and veggie daily intake. This like stir fry kit, this is so good in the air fryer. Some green grapes for 99 cents a pound, a vegetable, vegetable medley, another stir fry, a couple of salads, the sweet kale, the chopped Southwest, and just some cauliflower florets. I'll probably um, mash these. Dave wanted some salads prepped, so I got a few items for that. Lettuce, not a good price today. So I just went with the iceberg, even though it's not my favorite choice. Um, all of the snacking tomatoes were $1.99 each, so I got a variety of those. 
an English cucumber, some cottage cheese. One of my snacks for the week is cottage cheese with some peaches on top. So I got two of these for that. And maybe, maybe I'll make a frozen lasagna, like make one and then freeze it. We'll see how the week goes. And then this section over here is stuff that can go into the freezer for later. Two pound shredded cheeses were $4.99 each. $2.50 a pound, it's a great price. So I got a sharp cheddar, a Mexican, and a mozzarella. Kobe crafted ground beef burgers. The normal price is like 10, ridiculous, I know. Um, so there's four patties in each of these. So these are easy to just throw into the freezer or I can cook them tomorrow and we can just have them tomorrow. And the Jimmy Dean sausage, the hot is my favorite on sale for $2.49 a pound. That's cheaper than the off-brand price, guys. This is good stuff and they freeze beautifully. $110. And what's crazy about this is almost everything I bought was either on sale or on clearance and had digital coupons and it was still over $100 for these items. Let me put this away and show you what I picked up in a random parking lot today. Four items for $130. Dollars. Oh my gosh. My Azure Standard Market, is that, I'm saying that right? Azure Market is what it says here. Order came in. All I ordered was small red beans because I cannot find these in my area at all. And it's what I prefer to use for red beans and rice. Some black eyed peas. This is a favorite in our house. And I have bread flour. These are upside down. Bread flour, 25 pounds and 50 pounds of hard white wheat. So my kids are not doing school lunches this year. We will be taking lunches from home and we are going back to making sandwich bread. Hence. Hence the boat. All of the products right here. I wanted to have a good supply of bread flour and wheat that I can grind and make wheat bread later. It's been difficult to find in stores as I'm sure you know. So I'm happy to, I'm happy to have been able to order it and have them deliver it pretty close to my house. We love beans in my house. I don't, do you guys like beans a lot? If you cook them well, they're so delicious, like creamy and delicious. So very excited to have all of these things. I have a referral link down below. I th think it gets you something, 20, $25 off your order. If you spent $100 or something like that, I'm a little unclear. Anyway, that's below if you want to go check it out if you haven't yet. Okay, I'm gonna get my big strong husband to put these away and we're not done yet because I have a fabulous neighbor with a fabulous garden who hooked a girl up with some garden produce. Let's check it out now. Can you believe all this amazing garden produce? We have some little broccolini, some bell peppers, cucumbers, zucchini for days, and squash for days. And for size reference, um, hold please, I need to show you these. That's my hand. It's, look at that, that's, See as big as my forearms? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it is as tall as my hip to my shoulder. Hip to shoulder. Look at that. Zucchini tricks. Did you know that I was in Color Guard in high school? Did you know that? Did you know we have an entire YouTube channel just on zucchini tricks? <laughs> Next is zucchini trick shots. <laughs> zucchini, go long, go long. <laughs> One hand. <laughs> One hand. Found it, noggin. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with those, man, but they are, oh, he's measuring it. It's 18 inches, isn't it? 20, it's 20 inches. It's, it's 20 inches. That's 20, that's a 20 inch zucchini. Hang on, wait. Holy zoodles, my friend. Holy zoodles, Batman. Okay, so these items were free, aside from being kind to your neighbors, okay? It can reap garden rewards. And I do have one more purchase, so let me figure out where these are going, and then I'll show you that. The last purchase of the day cost us $20. Here's what happened. We were driving home from Sun Valley, Idaho. On the way, there is a grocery outlet in which I enjoy stopping at. We found Cascade Ice for like 65 or 69 cents each, but check it out. The Ginger Lime, Delicioso. So we got a bunch, <laughs> $20 worth. They're gonna go in the outside fridge. Like, I feel like because we have a drink fridge in the garage, we've made it. We have made it. We are successful YouTubers. We now have a drink refrigerator. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Oh, other flavors include peach nectarine, which is like the same thing, but with one with fuzzy skin and one without. 
kiwi, strawberry, and classic lemonade. I don't know who picked this one up. I, I didn't pick this one up. If you've made it this far, I wanted to let you know that I am one of the speakers for the Get Organized HQ virtual conference that's happening in September. If you want your free ticket, I'm, I think it's still free. <laughs> So you can watch all the sessions live. Um, I'll have all of that information down below. There's over a hundred sessions on all kinds of things like organizing your house, decluttering. My session is on cutting your grocery bill in half without using coupons. If you want the all access pass, that one is paid, but you don't have to do that one. And the price does go up the closer we get to the start of the conference in September. So super excited to be a part of this virtual conference this year. Uh, I hope you'll join me there. Info below. Let's get back to more groceries. It is August 25th and the last grocery haul for August. This all was from Fred Meyer. Uh, there were a couple of things on sale, a couple things we were out of. It was $55. Let's add that to my total and I do have a very tiny Sam's Club haul after this. So let me show you everything I have. Let me touch all of the items for you. First of all, their milk was $1.29 per half gallon. So I got the limit of five. For these and I like this because the date is all the way to September 12th. We have been doing a lot of yogurt and granola for breakfast in the mornings uh, before school because it's fast, it's easy, and the kids love it. So this right now is my favorite Greek yogurt. And anytime it's on sale, I make sure and grab it. So these were $2.50 each uh, when you bought five. So I went ahead and got five. We have the vanilla, the honey vanilla, and the honey. Like these are so good and this is not a low fat item. So that's probably why it's so delicious. A couple of salads and produce items. Uh, we got pears, a clearance bell pepper. The grapes were all like 88 or 89 cents a pound. A couple of romaines just to make a side salad for dinner that's easy. Asiago kale chopped kits were 99 cents. Um, so I did get three of these. That's all they had that looked good. These are super nice for a quick lunch. I didn't need any meat. <laughs> <laughs> this this is what happens. So I saw this big thing of hamburger patties. This is a little over two pounds for six fifty, and I thought, what an easy dinner, right? So I went ahead and picked this up. It's ten patties, and I did get two things of hamburger buns. We're having this tonight. I also saw these sweet apple maple syrup chicken sausages were half off, so they're two forty nine. Regular price was five dollars. Sausage is one of my favorite items, chicken sausage, turkey sausage, pork sausage, whatever. And they freeze beautifully. So I did pick up four packages of this. These will go into the freezer. Everything else will not go into the freezer. It's just kind of for like, you know, this is tonight, for this week, for breakfasts, you know, and then this will be gone within a week probably. Sam's Club, three items, $20. Can you believe it? <laughs> Container of peaches, uh, a five pound bag of gala apples, you say gala or gala? What is it? I think the kids have already eaten like four out of this. So it's not five anymore. This one went very quickly. We were totally out of tortilla chips and I was having, you know, like a seven layer dip craving and we had no chips. So I saw these red quinoa chia tortilla chips. Thought we would give those a whirl. We are here at the end of the month. Um, I'm cutting it finished on August. 25th we will be good for like the next week or so to get us into september and i really really want to do a freezer clean out in september so if you want to hang out and see that and you haven't subscribed yet do that now so you don't miss it uh the total i've spent for this month of august of 2022 is this that's for a family of six i would say that includes quite a few stock ups that I won't need to purchase for months and months and months because we have so much granola and cereal and snack foods for lunches. My next biggest problem is what am I gonna do about the egg prices? Because I wanted to buy eggs today and I was unsatisfied <laughs> with all of the egg prices. It used to be a very inexpensive protein, a cheap, easy breakfast. And I think you agree with me, like you go see the egg prices and it's painful. So I'm, I'm looking for a sale, I'm looking for a deal, clearance, a farmer, something, anything. As always, thank you for hanging out with me in today's video and I'll see you in the next one, bye.